Hey everyone, good to see you. I'm getting ready for the uh, six o'clock show here. It's actually like six o'clock and 45 seconds. So we're a little bit late, but I'm uh, anchoring the 6 p.m. show here at WUSA 9 in DC. We're starting off with breaking news and I figured I'd give you just a little bit of behind the scenes. I'm happy to answer questions, just know I'm anchoring a show, so I may not be able to get to you right away and we can continue this live and talk a little bit after, okay? Um, just to show you what goes on here, if you haven't seen it, I'll show you. Say hello, there she is. Wonderful, Elena, who is a production assistant, floor director, runs a teleprompter, all sorts of crazy stuff. Off and keep going. I don't know what you're talking about. That's Howard, Thanks. by the way. Oh wait, here. This is my, for my friends at the TV Newswomen group. So oh, this, is not, this is not my normal behind the scenes. That's Howard Ooh, it's Bernstein. a special group. Special group. They're special. So what is it like anchoring a newscast? Um, it's uh, pretty cool. I mean, there's a bunch of stuff that you have to know. Uh, here, I'll put this over here so we can talk. And let, I can me, let me ask you. Okay, interview me, will you? All right. Um, <laughs> now, I've only done a tiny bit of anchoring. I know, we, anchored and we did it together. And, yeah. and in one respect, I, I'm, I'm a meteorologist to give you guys background. I liked it because it, there was so much more versatility where if yeah. you're just doing weather, you're just doing weather. But on the flip side, don't yeah. you really have to know a lot know. about a lot? You got to know a lot about a lot, and you have to know, you have to look over your show. It's the most important thing. Actually, it's a million important things, but one very important thing, and I have, of course, the script right here. We have it on iPad with EMPS, is I got to know what we're going from. I got to know what's next. I got to know, like, we're starting with breaking news uh, on a homicide that happened at Metro Station, but then we're going to go to some rallies, and you know what? We're going to have probably a, a lighter story in there a little bit later. So that's the situation. So what are you looking over exactly, though? Oh, I got to make sure facts are correct. I got to make sure it's written in a way that I can punch it. It's got to be written in my voice. I don't say certain words. I'll never say vehicles. I'll never say altercation. I don't talk like that. I don't say residents. I'm not a resident. I just happen to live somewhere. Now, don't you hate when you're talking to like a PIO and they're using PIO speak as opposed to like people right. speak? Right. Talk like a person. Right. Um, now, let me also add, I think you gotta check supers. You gotta check everything you have time yeah. to check because we had a situation where we have a, a dam near Lynchburg that was in jeopardy <laughs> and it's saying dam watch, D-A-M watch. The yeah. super said D-A-M-N watch. And I this wanna happened. know who typed that. So I, I'll <laughs> tell you later. It wasn't me. But but if you get a chance to yeah. check even that stuff, check it now, because it it all affects your credibility. It does. And I'm gonna say one thing about that. I know it does it does really affect your credibility. However, there's only so much you can do. And I, by the way, am anchoring a show. Yeah. A lot of these women are all across the country. They're producing the show while they're anchoring the show. Wow. You hats know? off to you for, yeah. for so, all the all the hats you wear. And, or they're MMJing and then they're coming back to anchor. They did already turned a story. So, you know, you're only as good as your weakest link, right? Um, but you do want to check as much as you can check. So, if, if you time go. allots. Yeah. And, and obviously, you're going to have to make some choices in those cases where you're doing so many different it, yeah. things. So, yeah, so there's that. Um, let's just be totally, um, you know, on the surface level here. I gotta be ready because I gotta be ready to go just in case there's some breaking news or something happens. We gotta go on early. We may have to go on late, whatever it is. I gotta come to work. I mean, personally, I gotta come to work with all my makeup on and my hair kinda done. I can fix it a little bit, but I gotta allow for that time because I gotta walk out here. And I don't wanna be worrying about that stuff because then it's taking away from my performance. How much do you stray from the written word, the script? I am at, li I'm like 95%. I really, but here's the thing, because I have this shift and do this job, I look at everything and I rewrite a lot. And I don't think anybody cares that I rewrite it, I'm hoping not, but I have to write it for my voice. So I'm writing it for me in the first place. If it's something that's like, eh, doesn't really like work for me, like I don't, I don't usually speak no. that way, it's gonna screw me up, so I do a lot of rewriting. So um, if you can ahead of time, rewrite but as you're seeing it if you can edit it into your voice on the fly do that there's lots of people who can do that um you know who's really good at that always derek mcginty he was really good at that adam is really good at that and there's also things bruce johnson will say as he's anchoring here he'll be like hold up the prompter right there i'm gonna make a comment and then we're gonna go so that's the whole situation okay you know there's a lot of a lot of different things but when I walk in here, and we're gonna, I think we're gonna start soon, right? Looks like the yeah. golf is wrapping up. Uh, one thing I ask for normally is a punch up, because I wanna make sure that I look okay. Um, and then I got, then you know what? I can put that aside. 
Because that's part of the job, right? Yeah. Can I get a punch up or are we just too late, guys? Elena, Anyone? can you ask him for a punch up? Please, I never got Deborah? that punch up. Can oh, yeah. Thank you. I don't know if we can get it. Are we going to yeah. go on? No, my, I'm talking no. right now, though. We don't have time for it. Are we going to go on? She says she can only give you punch ups 10 minutes before the show. Okay. So are we going to go on soon? They're asking, are we going on soon? Yeah. Okay. All right. We're so, at the mercy of the network right there now. There you go. Um, okay, five minute warning. Right. From Joe. Oh, oh, look. Wow. You got a punch up. Okay, I got a punch up. See? There we go. Okay. I just need to make sure because, you know, I have some. Let me get out of the way. I don't want to. Yeah, don't mess up my punch up. I don't want to ruin it for you. Thank you. I appreciate that. Cool. So, you know, we all work together here, and I like to, number one, you know, get in on time. I'm supposed to be here 10 minutes before. Then I can ask for a punch up. The then I can be all ready to like, you know, go and, and anchor the show. Before that, I've already checked everything so that I can make sure. And this guy's still here, isn't he? <laughs> I'm just hanging um, out waiting for golf to end too. Okay. But I, I, I want to well, ask you now, how, how long? I really want. <laughs> Wait, I got a lot going on. I got golf in my ear. I got Elena. I got you. And I'm trying to talk to everyone. Five minutes. Well, five minutes. Five minutes? Okay. I do. So um, when are you dropping? Okay, he's over there now. I apologize. You can't get rid of that guy. He always, always is here. Anywhere. Anyway. So we're going to start off the show. Get out of here. I'm trying to talk to my friends here. You know, with a breaking news story. So I'll just read it to you. No, it hasn't gone to your head. Um, he's going to punch me. I have to deal with this all the time. Yeah, this is actually really important to me. I don't really get an opportunity to do this that often. Thank you. So we're going to start off with, thanks for joining us on the news at 6. We begin tonight with breaking news out of Wheaton. Police on the scene of a double shooting on Norbeck Road at a park and ride. Our Bria White is on the scene right now. So Bria, what are police telling you? I hope you can get the, um, you know, the delivery on that is such that, you know, this is important stuff. And I know that I am delivering important stuff to the people at home right now. Um, I also got to have a sense of urgency, right? Important stuff. So I got to have a sense of urgency and I got to be conversational. So I'm kind of doing all of those things. But here's where you do all those things. It doesn't come out of here. It actually comes out of here. So I know if we're starting with breaking news. This stuff is important. I got to let you know this. Hey, we're starting with breaking news tonight, right? And then I'm going to give you the information, but I'm also going to be as conversational as I can. So are Bria White's on the scene right now? So Bria, what can you tell us? I don't want it to be one of those tosses that I'm sure you've gotten before. I know I've gotten where it's like, our Deborah Alferone is on the scene right now, Deborah. Oh my gosh, it sounds just so like they don't care or just so scripted or so read. You want to make sure it sounds like you're not reading. Um, and what happens is a lot of that happens when you walk into the studio. So I walk in here knowing that I'm the anchor, knowing that I have the experience, knowing I have this job, knowing I know what I'm doing, knowing that I'm the leader here on the weekend. And so I can then have all of that and emote that through what I'm saying. So it's really a lot of up here before it even comes out your mouth. Okay, our next story is hundreds of activists and gun violence survivors protested what they called the NRA's role in blocking gun control laws. It was called the National March on the NRA. That march started a block away from the National Rifle Association building between Route 50 and I-66. And notice, I'm doing kind of like a little hand thing here. If I got to do that to kind of, I know I'm not on camera at that point. It's all video. So I w might sometimes do that to, so it can help me emote this um, between Route 50 and I-66. Okay. Um, you probably have a couple of these in your newscast. They're throwaways, right? You hear them all the time. You say them so often that it's like, they come, you know, it's just like second nature. To see our full live stream of the March on the NR, March on NRA rally, check out our website at wusa9.com. I could say that in my sleep, but um, you know, you gotta also sell that. Hey, if you want to see this whole full live stream, you want to go to our website. It's wusa9.com. Okay, moving on now. In Portland, you know, and you you keep on. Uh, just letting them know that you're giving them the information. It's kind of like you're holding someone's hand. It's like 
you're reaching through the screen and you are giving them all the information they need and like you've said to them hey uh, you know whatever your name is at home like you got to think this in your head hey Sue <laughs> I don't know I'm coming up with a name hey Sue I got about a half hour news for you wait till you hear about this so wait first off Sue there was this um, this breaking news we're gonna start off with breaking news let me tell you about the breaking news that's going on and then we're gonna go to this rally so there's also a rally that took place in Fairfax County today it was over here by this and that and this is what people did um, now, if you want to see that thing, you can go to our website. But wait, Sue, I got more for you because guess what? Something happened in Portland today. You're kind of holding someone's hand and leading them through uh, a newscast. And so, like I said, a lot of it is you speaking. Um, and a lot of it is, you know, you show up. You got to feel like, you know, confident. You got to feel like your hair looks okay. Yeah, like, let's be real. Oops, we're going to start now. But a lot of it is up here. So I'm going to anchor this show and I got to get back over here, okay? Ask me questions, I'll get to you in the break. You need to tell for his weather for you go ahead and reply. Okay. So this show's starting at 6.11, and um, I'm gonna move this a little bit further away. So we just lost 20 minutes. Oh my God. So things are gonna be cut. Going to 6.30, so we've got a shortened newscast, and so things are flying. So I'm not ta I wasn't talking to you. So I can already see lots of stuff being like killed in the show, and you know if you've got good producers and directors in your ear, you know just always be ready to go. Things are different. Things will change. Okay. Are you learning a lot? Is this your group that we did the video? Yeah, with? that's my group. Oh. Elena hangs out with me every weekend. We have a good time. I learned so much from you. Thank you. I learn a lot from you, as you know. <laughs> she teaches me all the good words that I need to know that I might not know. She teaches me the slang that I need to know. And then I teach it to my husband, and then he knows the slang, and then he's cool. So you're really just making everybody cool. 15 seconds, everyone. Ah. Thanks for joining us on the News at Six. We begin tonight with breaking news out of Wheaton. Police on the scene of a double shooting on Norbeck Road at a park and ride. Our Bria White is on the scene right now. So Bria, what's going on? What are police telling you? Thank you so much, Bria. We know you're to stay on top of that story and give us more info when we get them. Again, it's a breaking news situation, and you can get updates on our website at WUSA9.com. Hundreds of activists and gun violence survivors protested what they call the NRA's role in blocking gun control laws. It was called the National March on the NRA. That march started a block away from the National Rifle Association building between Route 50 and I-66 along Waples Mill Road. Our Michael Quander was there and has this story from the march. So the, okay. Okay, cool. Thank you. So I'm listening to Brittany, who is our producer. Um, so now we got a package plan. I've got one read and then some teases and I can get to you. I see you got a couple of questions here. So <coughs> thank you guys so much for being here, by the way. A 
Okay. Survivors of the school shooting in Florida are on a bus tour to end gun violence and get people registered to vote. If you want to see the full live stream of the March on NRA rally, you can just go to our website at WUSA9.com. Well, coming up, our very own wizard John Wall made some local kids very happy today. Wait till you see what he gave them. Hey, thank you. Well, that was a good block. I thought Bria did a good job. Mm-hmm. Awesome. All righty, everyone. Hey, Rom, how are you? Okay, Molly's got a good, good uh, question here because a lot of good anchors seem to have a great social media game even throughout the newscast. So how do you keep up with the tweets, the Facebook Live while still making sure you read over script changes and follow along in the show? Hey, it's all about your credibility. Don't mess up the show, right? So, um, you know, don't don't take yourself out. Like, don't don't do too much if you can't. I know what I can do and what I can't do. I can Facebook Live in the middle of the show, and I do this. By the way, I have about twenty five people kind of come in and out throughout the half hour, and they are my ride or dies. They hang out with us every weekend, and they always have. Um, great insight. They will tell me if I've pronounced something wrong before anyone else will even be able to in the studio. Okay. Cause we're all doing so much. They are amazing. And so I do that and that's what I end up doing. If there is a breaking news, I can type out some breaking news real quick. That's easy to just be, you know, whatever it is, but if it's going to mess me up, I'm not going to do it. So what I do, what's right for me is to Facebook live while I'm anchoring. Now, if I'm co-anchoring with someone, it's not as easy because it might mess them up and I have to just see if they're okay. So um, you do what you can. You know, if you're co-anchoring, you have a little bit of time. When I co-anchor during the week, I can do that. I can sit there and like, you know, type when it's not my time. So do whatever you need to do to get yourself, uh, you know, making sure you're not taking a hit on your credibility. Delia's here. Hey everyone. Recommendations for fill-in anchors. Yeah, you fill in, right. So. Do a good job filling in. That's basically it. And, you know, be available. I filled in my first time here on Christmas. 2013, maybe it was. And I did a good job. And I was lucky. But I'll tell you about that in a minute because I got to go here now. There are plenty of smiles and dance moves in Southeast DC today. That's because Wizard star John Wall gave away, oh yeah, a thousand backpacks to kids in the city to make sure that they're ready for school. This all happened at the Goodman League basketball court. Each bag was filled with pencils, notebooks, and folders. And uh, John Wall, you know, he broke out into some dance moves with the kids and he posed for pictures. Here's the thing, he told us that during his childhood, he didn't always have school supplies in time for the first day of school. And he says those supplies, they can really go a long way. I'll tell you about why I did that in a second. Stand by. Why is that there? <laughs> no. <laughs> Stay with me here. And they're my favorite team, too. And John Wall is awesome. In the past four years, he's given away over 2,500 book bags through his family foundation. All right, our DC Little League superstars are headed to Connecticut today for their regional Little League tournament. And it's with your help and the generosity of MLB star Adam Jones, the Mamie Johnson Little League raised, guess what, $10,000 to make the trip. 
The squad is going to face a group from New York this weekend, and the money you've donated will also cover new equipment and uniforms. This is all going to keep that program going and stay true to the mission of keeping it low cost for the kids who play from wards seven and eight. All right, well, coming up, guess what? Howard Bernstein's here, and he's going to have a full check of your forecast. Okay, so I kind of riffed a little bit because um, we had a problem. You didn't, you didn't see it, but um, we came up to this big monitor here, and it's supposed to have video of John Wall, and it wasn't there. So then they came back to me, and so that's why I kind of got animated because here I am talking about John Wall, who's a huge sports star here in D.C., and you're not seeing him, you're seeing me. Like, so what's, the, why are you seeing me? So I had to kind of, you know, make it a little bit more conversational to keep it going. Um, ah, good questions. Um, you know what, Colleen? Really, the best thing you can do, hold on, okay, okay. Is Frank here? Okay, cool, thank you. Um, really do the best job you can filling in and if you need someone to coach you I'm here for you really you want to do the best job you can filling in because that's your audition so uh, pay attention to people talk to people who are anchors in your station people you trust get whatever you can from them talk to me watch me anchoring I do it you can watch behind the scenes um, on my Facebook page so that's what I would say you really want to um, just blow them away blow them away when you fill in Okay, any recommendations for ways to naturally transition between stories? Yeah, I'll, I'll look down, I'll look up. It's all about being comfortable. If you're comfortable in your own skin as a, and as an anchor, it's so easy to transition. I can go from, there's breaking news right now. Okay, now the next story is something a little bit lighter. Seconds. I'll actually put in those transitions myself that are not scripted and I'll say, Okay, moving on from that, now, a story I know you'll love. Or my favorite story of the day, if it's about dogs, you know, that kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, you can look down, but if you're wondering how to do it, then you're not in the moment, and you're not being conversational. You know, you're kind of like, should I go here? Should I look down? Should I do that? So it can be a little tough. I gotta be quiet now, because hey, this guy's gonna talk. And uh, Howard's really conversational, so it, it's good to listen to him. because I'm not needed for this part of the newscast. So Meredith, here's what I'm thinking. If you think it probably won't happen, that's gonna stand in your way. You want to think it could happen. And if you've got some, you should ask and ask and ask. Like sometimes you don't get yes on the first ask. It sometimes it takes five asks, you know? And you can show someone you're anchoring and get their feedback on it. Hey, I wasn't allowed to fill in at a couple of stations I worked at. It only happened when I got here. So, you know, just don't take the first no. And also, 
think that it could happen, because that's going to be infused in everything you do, okay? Hold on, i got to be quiet again. This front, look at all the storms in uh, Illinois and Indiana. That front gets closer to us late Wednesday, so by then our storm chances start to pick up. Patchy fog west tonight, otherwise clear to partly cloudy, 60s and 70s. AC is be humming. Hot by lunchtime on Sunday, partly to mostly sunny. 70s and 80s in the morning, highs tomorrow, most of us in the low 90s. South winds 5 to 10. The three day forecast shows the heat continues. Monday and Tuesday, 94, 95. Just the isolated storm by Wednesday. We're talking mid 90s again with some late day storms drying out Thursday. And a few more storms possible next Saturday. All right, the Nats three game win streak came to a quick halt, lost to the Reds 7 1. You know, of course, the Nats have said they need to turn it around. They have recently, but a bump. So we gotta finish up the newscast. I'm gonna put this over here. It's only gonna be like a minute, so hang out. I'll answer your questions after and tell you more. That guy's back. Deborah's really good about picking the tone of the story she's reading. You gotta feel each one. Rain has been really an issue with the city opener. Howard, as they try to catch up and get all the tennis matches in by tomorrow. No rain today, and that helped on the men's side. This guy was ready to Alex Zverev continues to roll, frustrating his opponent so much so, in fact, got to show you this great meltdown. Oh my God, what are you doing to yourself? So Bob Sissy, boss of Greece, hitting himself. <laughs> Not happy with his play against the top speed Zverev, but he's got to be happy with this point. Probably the play of the day as Sissy boss leads with a winner, but he eventually would lose the match, and he's okay. Wow, but don't beat yourself up. Talk about Whoa. being hard on yourself. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That was a new one for me. Never saw that before. I don't even know what to say about that. Hey, that's it for us, the yes. news at 6. We'll see you back here tonight at 11. Don't beat yourself up, okay? No. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? That's crazy. Oh, my God. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Don't do that at home. Don't do that at home. Don't okay, do that. Talk yeah. to my, my friends here All right, a little bye, bit. Bye, friends. <laughs> yeah. What's up, uh, yeah. So, yeah. um... Where, where are you going? A little bit. Let me just turn off my mic and all that good stuff here. Okay. So at the end of that show, there was um, a little bit of... We were laughing because Frank had this amazing, hilarious uh, sports highlight of this tennis player who was, like, taking his racket and kind of going like this, like hitting himself in the head. Okay. I mean, he was, like, flipping out a little bit. So we kind of, like rift on that a little bit at the end. Um, and there's always something that you can kind of talk about and have some banter, but it all starts before you walk in. And knowing that you have the right to be there, knowing that you have the place, knowing that you have the confidence, knowing that you were selected for whatever reason you were selected to be here to anchor that show, that's the thing, knowing you have the right. You gotta have the confidence because there's no way to really fake it. And it's not hard to just have it because guess what? There's only one you. There's only one person who can be you. So there's a million people who can anchor, right? But no one can do it like you. So when you walk in, you have to know that you have a unique voice and a unique point of view and that you've been selected for a reason to sit here and, and you know deliver the news to the people at home. So I always remember that when I walk in and then I know I'm standing here confidently and I can then say, okay, well, that story just happened and now you're sending me to puppies. Um, I can go, okay, well, switching to something a little bit different. Okay, and here's a different type of story. Or, okay, from that, we're gonna go to this. You know, you feel confident that you can do that if you just feel confident knowing that you uniquely, you have uh, exactly what it takes to do this. So that's kind of, oh, all the lights are going off here. Uh, <laughs> it's okay. I'm taking the cue. I get it. Um, I'm no, no, no. I'm good. I'm good. Um, so that's really what I wanted to say to you guys. Um, and you know, Meredith, you've got a really good point. 
There are many people who've said no to me over the years. Many, 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 many. That's just one person. Mm -mm. They don't get to tell me who I am. So I understand, you know, you may feel like it's not going to happen in that market, but you can't feel that way. You got to be the best you you can be. And hey, I'm a weekend anchor. I'm not the main anchor here. And, uh, you know, there's only so many main anchoring jobs in the world. So, you know, I don't, I don't think that's going to happen for me here. And maybe it'll happen somewhere else. But I don't let that stop me from being the best I can be at every moment. I'm not going to ever let some news director tell me what I can and cannot do. Um, so you got to just go in there and it's not a convince. It's a present your qualifications and your passion. And if you say, can I do this? Can I do this? Can I do this? They'll eventually let you. Like right now, tonight, we have someone who they would never let uh, report on the weekends here. But guess what? Sometimes your time comes up and uh, we do not have a reporter here tonight. So she's out there doing a live shot because she's here and her time is up. You know, her, her uh, opportunity came up. Um, I was working in Connecticut. I got a job, a uh, freelance opportunity at PIX in New York. And you know what? I was lucky because... You know, I'd do a day here, a day there, and then this guy got fired, and boom, I was five days a week. So it happens. Now, for every time that happens, guess what? I didn't get the job at another place, and I was qualified for it, or I thought I was, you know, who knows. Um, so I got lots and lots of no's, but that doesn't take away from the fact that I am a good, credible anchor and a leader in this newsroom. Um, so that's kind of what I got for you there. I know it's, you know, it's very important also to do your voice work if you're starting out in this business and you're not quite there yet. You know, I've been in this business for a little bit. I've done some voice work. I didn't just show up and I was able to, you know, anchor a show. It takes breath control. It takes uh, being able to speak from your diaphragm, not from up here, which is very different from down here. You can hear the difference. When I'm talking from up here, I'm not using any of my diaphragm. But when I talk from here, I can project a lot more. So that's where you get the breaking news right now tonight. That's coming from here. But if I was doing it from here, it would be breaking news right now tonight. It's not as powerful. So I did a lot of work with a woman whose name is Priscilla Shanks. She's in New York and she does a lot of uh, Skype, FaceTime kind of stuff with people all over the country. She's the best of the best best in the business, cost a lot of money, it was well worth it, and I would not be here if it wasn't for her. So another tip I can say is invest in yourself. It may seem like an, a lot, but you know, I mean, do you wanna go far? You need good people around you, you need support. So that's kind of what I got. Um, another thing that helps me, just know that what you wear for makeup reporting it isn't going to cut it for anchoring the lights are bright in here and you need some lashes i don't know if you can see my lashes but yeah <laughs> you need some lashes to make your eyes pop um trying to think what else i could tell you i think that's about all i got for you unless you guys have any questions i don't think you guys do do you colleen says thank you and you're so welcome kaylee oh you're so sweet you rock thank you christina loves this okay what's my routine like allison i love the spelling of your name allison zimmerman um, okay, routine like before work or when you get in. Okay, so I'm an anchor here in um, Washington, D.C. And so my shift is going to be a lot different from other places, right? Smaller markets. Um, my routine is I'm, I work 3 to midnight, Saturday and Sunday. And what I do is, um, you know, I just kind of look at the news in the morning, no, check my email. I have to know what's going to be happening today. Um, there's a call that we do where we talk about, you know, what reporters are going to cover what. Um, but really, I, until I, I, my job, a lot of it is being done when I get in. Where I'm helping make decisions. Um, I'm writing stories, rewriting things. You know, I'm a senior member here of this the, the reporting team, so I can say, oh, well, that happened in Montgomery County. Do you have so and so cell phone number? You should, you know, call so and so. So I can do all of those things. Um, crazy breaking news goes on down. I'm doing stories and I might do them from the newsroom. Like I had when Ellicott City flooded, which is a, a place uh, not too far from here, but like devastating flooding, I um, was, well, I was anchoring, you know? And so I'm not gonna go out and go in the flood and, and report because I've gotta be here to anchor. However, I saw this woman on, on uh, Facebook, friend of a friend, 
and she's talking about how she was stuck in this place. So I, you know, message her, she calls me, we do a phoner, I've got her, her um, video, et cetera, and I put together a package on it. Um, you know, my, that's really kind of like my day. We have the six o'clock, and like I said, I write it, rewrite it, do everything I can to make it the best. I pitch things, you know, oh, we need, we have some time in the show, okay, let's put this trending. Or I'll say something like, um, you know, that's a breaking news story, let's go back to that person at the end of the show. You know, I'll get involved in those decisions. Uh, I'll read scripts from reporters. Um, you know, but basically, that's my work day. Here's a question from Brooke. What do you think makes an anchor reel stand out to a news director? You gotta be good. You gotta be good, you gotta be confident, you gotta look polished, um, and you know what? Uh, you gotta like put yourself together. I mean, it's obviously important that you you know, present yourself in a credible um, way. But, you know, like this, I would totally have this dress. I don't know if you can see this dress is a, you know, red dress, whatever. Red's a great color. It's a power color. I would say, you know, you gotta, you gotta look the part. That means polished. That means you have to stand up straight. Really, hugely important. Um, and no mess ups. I mean, you can't mess up anything. I think it's important to have breaking news, but you gotta show confidence. I could have any read that we did in the show tonight, and I'd be okay with that, because I had confidence in reading them. Now, obviously, the John Wall thing, the video didn't go, and I had to kinda riff on that, but I don't think it has to be a huge, big breaking news story. You just got to be good. You gotta be confident, and you gotta look the part, professional and polished. Um, and our friend Jumi, who's on this, or uh, was on this earlier, uh, she's, she's the part, so if you get a chance to ever watch Jumi's work, she's great. Everyone has their thing. Um, I think I'm kind of conversational. I think Jumi is much more classy than I am. <laughs> I can say that about you, Jumi, uh, if you rewatch this, if you're here still. Um, she's just got a great, kind of classy, holding down the desk type of a way. You know, she's got you by the hand and she's gonna get you through this newscast. So I think it doesn't necessarily need to be um, a certain type of read. You have to have confidence. Definitely, if you have something that detracts, like if you're wearing prints, and then you've got this background behind you, like look at this background. I'm gonna wear a print in front of that, you're never gonna find me. So I think you gotta have some solid, some jewel tones on just, you know, on the purely physical side, but you gotta have that, that confidence. All right, uh, what else do you got to say here? Uh, tips on breath control, Brooke, okay. So again, I so told you I did a lot of work with uh, Priscilla. Priscilla taught me breath control, and uh, there's a lot of exercises um, that you can do. So if you're thinking about your breath, then you're not in the moment. You're not confident, and you're not in the moment. When you're confident, you don't think about your breath. You just got it, right? Um, if you're like, oh my gosh, I wonder how I'm gonna be able to transition from this to that, you're not in the moment. You don't have the confidence. So it's it's walking in like, I got this, I can do this, I've got anything. And not letting anything throw you, like video not coming up, or I throw to Bria out in the field and sh the live shot dies. Um, I, it's okay. I can always say, and now Bria White has the story. Okay, that live shot is not working, but let me just recap for you for Bria. She's out on the scene in Wheaton in Montgomery County at the scene where two men have been found dead at a park and ride by the metro station. Again, that's in Wheaton. Bria White is on the scene. We're going to see if we can get her back later in the newscast. All right, moving on. Boom. That's exactly what I would do. Now, none of that's written, but that's, I know the story, so I can confidently do that. Um, breath control, though, one more thing I want to say is there are exercises you can do. I remember Priscilla taught me one, um, and I'll do it real briefly for you, but you would say, uh, you would count uh, taking a breath in and then count taking a breath out. And hopefully you can get to 20 on both. So it's, let me just wait, I have no more breath in me, and then do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, and you would do that kind of a, you know, that kind of a, like, uh, the way you say it. Um, and then one, two, three, and you would kind of hold on to your breath until you got to 20. And it takes a long time to get to that point, but that's the goal. You know, and as you're breathing in, you're 
kind of singing. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm still breathing in seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I, I ran out at 15. Um, but you can do it if you continue to do that. You can get to 20. I have gotten to 20 in the past. So that's what I got there. Let's see. What else do you guys have? Anything else? I got 25 of you guys sitting here hanging out. Um, I think I'll probably, I got 26. I think that's probably it unless you guys have any questions. I'm going to give you another second or two here. Um, I would invite you to, if you don't already like my Facebook page, because I do a Facebook Live every Saturday and Sunday night. Uh, Saturday, 6 o'clock at 11, Sunday, 6.30 and 11. And, you know, if you like the page, it'll come up. Um, and you can watch again. Um, but, you know, and I take you all around the studio. I'm moving from here to there. I love when there are bloopers because those are great opportunities for learning. Um, I really do believe that a lot of it just kind of, comes from when you walk in to the walk in to the newsroom and kind of the confidence that you bring to it that you got it and I know you know when I was starting out I didn't have that and it took a while so I'm at that point now and that's why I really really love to help you guys if you have any questions um, you can comment uh, or write to me or whatever you want to do all right I'm gonna go you guys are awesome I've loved hanging out with you oops Colleen damn I was almost out kidding any advice for improving crosstalk with weather and sports okay good so I uh, can do anything with weather because uh, we all know weather but I don't know all the sports and so I'm not that good uh, I do love basketball so I can say whoa, 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 let's talk about John Wall you know I can do that kind of a thing but you got to know it and you know, as an anchor guess what sports is news in your town People care about sports, and that's important to them, and that means it has to be important to you. So get into it. Um, as far as the weather, you know, if I feel confident, I can just say, wow, well, that's a real tough uh, forecast. Are we ever going to see the sun? You know, I might kid around like that or say, okay, so what's it, and what's it going to be like, you know, if people are heading out to school in the morning or maybe to church or working out or anything? Are they going to be able to get a run in? You know, Think about what your peeps at home are going to be doing. Uh, you know, Saturday night, we're going to talk about church for Sunday or, um, you know, Sunday night. Okay, what about going to school in the morning? You know, I always kind of have, how does it affect the people at home? Um, but just think about what you would say to a friend. You know, if there was this crazy sports story, like this guy that Frank had, who, uh, you know, at the US Open is taking a tennis racket and like hitting himself in the head because he's frustrated. Um, you know, you can joke about that. Like, you know, I bet that guy has a real headache right now. Like, or like, come on, Frank, admit it. You know, you've done that yourself, right? Um, you know, or like you can make a joke saying, well, I'm glad that guy doesn't play, uh, play baseball, right? Because obviously it would really hurt to hit yourself in the head with a baseball bat. Um, you know, just feel comfortable. Know that anything you say is going to be okay. The, you know, you should be on friendly terms with the people that you work with, the sports people, the weather people as the anchor. Go up to sports. Say, what's going on tonight? Don't show up to your show without knowing what's happening. And if you're not into sports, get into it. Talk to them about it. Say, what's, what's the last story you have before you come back to me? And talk about it a little bit. Say, so just make me smart. Why is that important? Because sometimes, you know, it's not important to you. Um, you know, I don't like football, to be honest with you. So I love basketball. I totally get baseball. All of these things are, you know, I get, I get it. So I can always, always chat. Oh, Stacey Ann, one of your moderators is here, everyone. The wonderful Stacey Ann. Um, you know, I can always BS about sports in, you know, a little bit here and there, but it's tough for me with football. So I got to ask questions because I don't know. So you got to, it's your job to know you're the anchor. Um, oh, yeah. Okay. So from a happy story to a sad one. Okay. I don't know. I'm just going to see if I got anything here. Do I have anything? No, I don't have anything. Okay. So here, I'm going to pretend I'm anchoring something for you guys. Um, we had some breaking news. And you know what? By the way, your producer shouldn't be stacking a show, giving you puppies right after a murder. It should not be happening. But um, 
let's say you've got some breaking news. So I'll just do a little bit of a riff on what we had earlier. Uh, breaking news right now out of Montgomery County. There are two men dead. Uh, police are on the scene right now. They don't know what happened before. They're not quite sure what led to this. But what we do, can tell you right now is two adult males have been found dead at the metro station in Wheaton. We're going to continue to follow that story and we'll bring you the latest as soon as we have it. Okay, moving on. This is a story that I promise you will make you laugh. Three dogs did this, that, and the other thing. You know, you can kind of, you've got to use your words to get from A to B. So, terrible story, terrible story. We're going to give you more information as soon as we as we have it. And now to a story that'll really make you think. There's a dog named Smoke, okay? He is a rescue dog, and he's only got so many months to live. He has terminal cancer, and all he wants is a home. So the Animal Rescue League has come up with a bucket list, and they want people to help smoke fill out his bucket list so so far he's been to a nats game he's been to he's ridden on a fire truck but really the one thing he on, only thing he really wants is to find a home you know here's the thing if you can really feel it you got to feel every story why is it important you know why that wheaton story is important because it could be anyone it could be you could be someone that you know it could be your brother your father your uncle you know, it could be anyone. So that's why you, you gotta have, feel that when you're devel delivering that. And I'm sorry, dog story is always easy for me because I think dogs are amazing and I have a rescue dog. And so I always want to um, tell people, this dog just wants a home. That's all he wants. And I know that when I'm talking about it, I'm emoting properly, uh, you know, efficiently, whatever you wanna say, but I know that it's real. That's what I'm trying to say, actually. It's real because, um, you know, I feel it. It's important. I know that I gotta be a certain way to let you know, hey, this terrible thing happened. I mean, we had a 10-year-old girl shot in the crossfire here recently, and it was horrible. Um, and it's, you know, it's not a, it's, it's not like an isolated incident. It happens in D.C. way too much. Um, and I can be moved by that. And then I can say, now here's another story that I really, I think we all need right about now. I want you to meet Smoke. He's a dog, he's a rescue dog, he's only got a little while to live, but here's the thing, he is making the most of his so many months. You know, I, it's all um, just knowing that you're holding the hand of the person at home and kind of walking them through the newscast. But it is a little tough, and no one should really stack a show in that way. And you know, you can use, well, moving on now, or well, here's a different type of story, or well, let's talk about this. Have a couple of those little phrases and ask other people too. Nobody tells you anything in this business. Nobody helps you. Um, you think that uh, people would be like, oh, well, here's what I do. No, no one's helping anybody around here. You've gotta ask for people. You gotta get a mentor and you gotta say, hey, I love the way you anchor. You are so, uh, you know, you are my favorite. I just think you're so warm. Can you help me? What would you do in this situation? And just ask for help. Oh, Emily, you're my favorite, Emily. Um, as a sports reporter, yes. Yes, Hannah, thank you, Hannah. Absolutely, you want people to ask you questions. I don't know. I hated when I was out, and I'm still reporting out there, but I hated when I was a reporter and like the anchor didn't know anything about my story. And they're like, wow, that's really terrible. So is so-and-so gonna be charged? I'm like, um, yeah, I just told you that. 30 seconds ago, maybe you could have paid attention. So, you know, we're all working in concert here. You just happen to, as an anchor, have the most high profile uh, position of the, of the entire newscast. You're holding it together. You're, boom, anchoring the show. You know, it ain't called an anchor for nothing. Think about a boat and an anchor. You're holding it down just like an anchor would. So you've got to, you know, work in concert with weather, work in concert with sports. If you don't know, ask. But if you devote time to your craft, you will learn it and you'll be a better anchor for it. Nobody tells you how to do it. Where's the, where's the anchor manual? There isn't one. So, you know, ask your weather people about this. Ask your sports people about it. Um, ask the reporter that's out on the street about the story. What stood out to you? You know, you want to have it be a thing where you're on board with every story. And by the way, if you're reading a story and you could give a beep less about it, why is it in your show? I will do anything I can to get those boring stories out that are a car crash happened here and there. Um, 
because like at the intersection of X and, and Y because we don't have video for it and it's a car crash. I work in Washington, DC. It's not that we need to cover every car crash. Um, if, if it's an important car crash, absolutely, don't get me wrong. But if it, we have no video for it um, and I'm gonna be up here talking while some boring map is on there, man, you're gonna hit the channel. I'm not gonna stand and let that you know, be in the show in, unless we have to fill, you know, or maybe I can find something else. Um, but we just have information and a press release. Why are we putting that in the show? This is TV. This is a, a format where, you know, we got to have video to tell our stories or it's got to be important. So if it's just a car crash and nobody died and it's over here and this road was shut down for hours today. Why do you care? So remember, if you can't find a reason to care, why is it in your newscast? All right. I've talked your darn ears off. I'm going to go at this point. Let's see. Oh, you guys are awesome. I appreciate it. Mm. Uh, Haley, um, what I said earlier is uh, my answer. And I'll just recap it for you real quick, but you can even watch from the beginning of this. you got to know that you have the right to be here. That's the number one thing. In your head, you've got to have know that you have the right to be there anchoring the show. You know, maybe you're 24, maybe you're 25, and you think, oh, I don't know, should I be doing this? You know, you see people who are much older than you doing it. No, they gave you that opportunity. You have every right to be there. You walk in like you own the place, and you anchor that show because the people at home need to hear from you, uniquely you. You're the only one who is you, and you're the only one that has what you have. So just know that you have the power to make someone's day or hold their hand through something tough that's going on out there. You know, whatever the uh, tough, you know, news story of the day is. You can make them laugh. I've made people laugh at home. I know I've laughed. You all see a, a cute dog video on Facebook that makes you laugh, and that's a gift, right? Um, so just knowing that you have the right to be there and to be confident and walk in knowing you got this is the number one piece of advice. I really appreciate it. Nicole, you're awesome. Sydney, you're awesome. Um, one last one, Carla. There you go. You find it hard sometimes when the script is lengthy. Why is your script lengthy? It should never be lengthy. If you've got a comma, guess what? That's an invitation to make that two sentences. It should never be long. When I have a long script, I rewrite that. Here's what's happening. A car crash happened over here. It's over there. So-and-so died. Police think he was drunk. Now they're looking into it. Your sentences should be short. It's easy to, to anchor a show when they're short. If someone's writing you long sentences, what is this? The Wall Street Journal? It's not supposed to be that way. This is television news. This is television writing. Your sentences should be, you know, subject, predicate, noun, verb, done, quick, and you should get out. If someone's writing you long stuff, then you're boring your viewer. If you can't get through it, how is your viewer gonna read it? TV news is, I'm taking this really complex subject and break it into little bites. And then I'm gonna give you your appetizer, give you a little taste of your main course, and here's a dessert and we're on our way. That's how this goes. So just know that if you've got long sentences, that's an indication that the writing has to be chopped up. And it's gotta be conversational. If you're talking about residents, altercations, or vehicles, I'm asleep. I don't want to watch. <sighs> My rant for the day. So, Carla, I hope that helps you. You guys are so welcome. All right, guys. Um, I think I've covered just about everything. I talked about breathing. I talked about VOs. I talked about long VOs and writing. Don't let, don't let it in. Don't let those long sentences in. Okay. Um, I really, really appreciate you. Um, if any questions, let me know. I'll check this later on. I gotta go do some actual work now. Um, not that this isn't work. Believe me. I love you guys. I love you very much. Mwah. See ya.